Hey everyone, Junior Russell Gamer here, guys, and no, this is not gonna be a Fortnite video, even though I am gonna be just playing Fortnite right now while I talk about this thing I'm recording today. And so, what are we talking about? Well, by the way, guys, I'm letting you know that I've been playing this for a little while and that, but and soon I'm gonna start recording videos for this, which is gonna be pretty fun and all that. But first of all, guys, what are we talking about? Well, we are gonna talk about the Avengers Endgame, so. Of course, this is gonna be a free spoiler review, which means I'm gonna talk about what I think of the movie, guys. So I went to watch it on Friday, guys, and I wanted to make it on that day, but I didn't have time to record on that day for the video. So this is pretty much three days after I watched after the day I watched the movie, which yeah. So I managed to see the day come out, guys, and guys, the movie was really, really good. Like just. Okay, for those of you who are huge Marvel fans, okay, if you guys know, notice that just based on what happens from the movie, it really does apply to the title Endgame. So yeah, it's one thing I really wanted to say, which is awesome. And oh yeah, by the way, I already unlocked this thing, which is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I love the movie. I actually enjoy. It. Definitely become already my favorite film overall. I gotta say, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, guys, the movie turned out pretty great, and there's so many things I wanna talk about, which I am gonna save those for the spoiler review. I am gonna, I am making definitely a spoiler review, guys. So drop a like if you guys are interested in that, please do so. And that that'll be pretty much one thing I wanted to say, guys. So as far as I gotta say, one thing is that the directors that started directing Avengers really did so so really good with the characters very amount very good amount of character developing happened you know when it comes to the characters that we are expecting pretty much on the game which of course i'm not gonna say about if there any other characters that we haven't seen or that we don't know we're gonna see because that's gonna be for the spoiler review so if there's one thing guys is because uh so I gotta say, the music went pretty great as far as like the Avengers theme music, and I think it also went pretty differently. I love how it started all with the intro. So the directors, I gotta say, they nailed it. The directors that we haven't that uh, been directing since Captain America: Civil War. I don't know what other, mo which other MCU movie they directed, but they did a pretty good job. And then they did so much, so good with the Avengers, with both Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Which I gotta say, they did so so well. And I'm not I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the other directors. Of course, they did a pretty awesome job. But I'm saying that the Anthony and Joe Russo were able to nail it, just like the other directors. But they did m more so than them. So I'm saying so. Yeah, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the other directors because I I'm, I know that. John, John Wigan did a pretty good job directing Avengers in Avengers Age of Ultron. So that the other directors did directing their own the solo movies from each of the characters that we already seen. And so the James Gunn did James Gunn, James Gunn did actually pretty good on the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I think I heard that Disney's there bring him back so he can uh, so what's it called so he can direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, which I'm looking forward to. That guys, it's gonna be really fun. Just to see. So yes, what does that mean? Oh well. So yeah, guys, I gotta say they really nailed it. And then based on Avengers Endgame, it did apply to me. Like once you watch it, but one thing before watching, guys, you really need to see each and every single other MC movie. Especially if you need to start right from the beginning. Oh, I just got a text message. Okay. Well, I re I will reply to it. So yeah guys, they nailed it. The directors and the characters went did pretty well. I did see notice some character a lot of character development. And the whole idea of the plot did do pretty well too. It was kinda confusing too, but it all also got me to some questions. It was understandable too, at least for me. Which I'm not gonna go over it and what else can I say about about it? So okay, this also this also was being already collected. Nice. So yeah, guys. So what's the other thing I gotta say is that 
I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what else to say. I think for the the music was pretty well. The directors did a very good well job. And oh my gosh, they think he's appearing. Why do I keep having this? Well, ignore it. let's pretend we didn't see that, I guess, okay. So yes, guys, it did apply to the other movies. It did apply mostly to Women and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, and Avengers Infinity War mostly, because pretty much, when I knew, I'd be, I waited four years for Avengers Endgame, okay? Because, I mean, I pretty much waited like three years for Infinity War based on the release date, of course, because since I watched Avengers Age of Voltron, I did notice how, just how well like I noticed Thor's vision, like with the thing that he said, because the one thing I currently heard at that point, it was when I heard about the Infinity Stones, and that's when I thought to myself, like, like when I saw Thor's vision, I was like, oh my gosh, they're really gonna, so we're gonna see something about the Infinity Stones, because that's also when I happened to notice that. So yeah, that's when I also noticed that. Okay, I don't know why they're attacking me, but okay, I'll just have to go with it. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much kind of what, what the whole situation is. But uh, to me, guys, it became my top favorite, so here's my top five, guys. So let me know in the comments your top five MCU movies, guys. So here's your minds. Avengers Endgame, then it comes to Avengers Infinity War, Thor Ragnarok. Captain Marvel, and last but not least, it would be Spider-Man Homecoming, because of course I love Spider-Man, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, guys. I did gotta say, the movie on Avengers Endgame, he says that was really good, it did have a good amount of comedy too, they actually have, to me, they had a very well balanced, the comedy, and then adding together the, like just, not just the comedy, also the, like the emotions in there, because I felt so emotional literally on that movie, got me so emotional. And along with the crowd, because watching it the day it came out, to me was so good. Just because I had a whole reaction with the crowd, and I and I loved that. That was actually pretty good. Getting a whole reaction with a crowd, like the same one. Especially that's very good for those who are Marvel fans. Which once like we get guys, once we get to the spoiler review, I am gonna get pretty nerdy in that. As, as kick as it sounds, but yeah, because you know I'm a Marvel fan. I love Marvel so much. That's why. So yeah guys, expect the spoiler review to go pretty well. So yeah guys, oh yeah by the way, I have I do have Fortnite on the phone, that's pretty much where I started playing it. And where I got so good at it. So yeah. So um, I think that's all there is to say guys. So yeah, expect the spoiler, the spoiler review to come up very really soon guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know your favorite to top 5 MCU movies. And I just got nailed down with the Stormbreaker. I guess that guy aimed for the head. Just like Thor should have done it on Infinity War. And maybe we can go over to Endgame to see who kills Thanos. Or if someone kills him, do they kill him? Or does Thanos leave? Does he kill everybody else? What happens? Well, we're gonna go over that guys on the spoiler review and I think that's gonna go pretty well so Of course, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know your top 5. Make sure you like Make sure you drop a, leave a like on this video. That would be pretty awesome and hit that subscribe button So of course you can always uh, snap your fingers to for that subscribe button And yeah, that'll be it guys. So yeah guys Pretend that your hand that you guys Pretend, okay, pretend that the subscribe button is covered, guys, and that you are Thanos. Alright, let's do that. Yeah. Alright. So, I'll see you guys later, so peace out, guys.